Okay, the minutes from January 11th. Everybody had a chance to look at them? Any comments, additions, subtractions? Thank Donna for a good job. As always, you do a very good job, Donna. I missed the meeting and I felt like I got lots of information without exactly to call anyone. They're right. so thorough. Right. I'll make a so motion. To ever come again. What's that? <laughs> I said now she'll never come again. <laughs> <laughs> Make a motion to accept the minutes as written. Second. Okay. All in or favor say aye. 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 All in favor. Those opposed. Unanimous. Thanks again, Donna. I actually spelled a word wrong, but I'll fix it. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Catherine, what do you want us to do? You want to talk about? I don't know what we can talk about as far as uh, oh yeah we can. Donna, did you go to that meeting today at the library? I did. Okay. I did. Um, do you want me to tell yeah, everybody why, what why, happened? Why don't we yeah. do that? You got you got a few minutes, Catherine. I do. I haven't. I, I think I have to leave at five twenty. Okay. Okay. And then I'll be driving. What the library had. So Bob Klinger reached out. Um, has reached out to me several times, and yesterday. Uh, wrote to say that um, the trustees were meeting with the Mason um, today. Uh, and he asked me if I'd um, be interested in joining them. And I thanked him. So we, um, I, it was, must have been their entire board. There were six of them there or so, mm -hmm. and a very nice Mason. And we reviewed um, in detail what, ought to be done and the method that they would propose um, and talked about uh, a couple things that were not in their original proposal, like the, the repointing of the brick that's needed on the low walls at either end of the front porch. Um, and also um, agreed that they should get a bid from the Mason that um, uh, includes uh, having, they would somehow remove that section of the ramp so that the whole porch would be done with the same new finished surface. So they wouldn't put themselves in a situation um, where if some, you know, a different handicapped accessibility plan comes along, here's Jonathan, um, uh, they have a mismatch. Um, we had a very interesting discussion. I don't know how many of you have been to the front of the library recently, but there is uh, an older wrought iron um, railing right up midway between the two center pillars. And then two newer ones have been put on that I guess were put on just last year as part of the handicapped accessibility project. Well, it turns out that the original one, which is actually nicer wrought iron, but that's beside the point, was installed badly so that the um, base of the original rail, handrail, has um, caused some of the damage in the uh, concrete. So um, we, I, I would say it was a good conversation. I think the Mason, whose name I've forgotten, I have the email, he's, he's in Connecticut. Um, seemed like a very responsible guy. I, they will work to get a revised proposal to us as soon as they can. Um, I, uh, in the meantime, promised, and I've done this, to send out the name of the material that the, uh, that the library, that the Mason, excuse me, is um, considering using. You can't get concrete anymore that is exactly like the concrete that that porch and steps were made out of. So I sent it out to the State Historic Preservation Listserv just to say, does anyone know about this? Does it meet the Secretary of the Interior standards? Um, I must say the standards for masonry, which are about 20 pages in total in five different locations. I'm not a mason, but they're, they're, <laughs> they're not as specific as some standards. So, um, so my question 
uh, and they know that if they can get us a good solid revised proposal before um, the 20th of February, then at least the historical commission will be able to do its review before this group meets again. So they know that. Um, my uh, guess, and I think Bob Smith and Bob Klinger agree, is that this newer, slightly broader piece of work will probably exceed $7,500. And I, I don't know, we, we don't, I, I don't know what our protocol is for a proposal that comes in at a certain amount and then there is some, you know, sensible rethinking and it ends up coming we raised, in a different we raised, For the ice rink, we certainly raised the original proposal quite a bit. Right. I mean, we have chosen to make grants that are higher than the amount requested. We did that for the Veterans Park, too. I, I mean, my own inclination would be to say, give us a proposal that describes the work in the way it, you know, describes the work that ought to be done to preserve. Yeah. And um, But I, I just wanted to run sure. that past all of you. OK. So I have a sense they're really headed in the right direction. They've, they've been very serious. They've done their homework. I think it's good. Good. Any questions for Donna or any questions in general about the library steps? Somebody was gonna check with George Dole and it was probably me and I didn't. Um, I'll, I'll call and see if he knows anything, just. Who's this? You mean George Dole from the Joan Switzit because yeah, a yeah. lot of their work is preservation and he knows yeah. us pretty well in the box. So. Okay, that'd be a good did idea you, if you get, could do that. Did you see my email on the list, serve so you know the name of the material or do you want me to write? Yeah, no, I, I okay. saw it. You saw it, okay. I have a 20 page color Xerox about the <laughs> material that anyone is welcome. <laughs> Do you mind send me the if I don't know you might send me the name of the mason if you could find it because oh sure I will I will I will I mean I think it was on the original proposal but you have it handy again. Okay. There's a whole there's a whole side story about the Mason getting stuck in Dallas for three days on the way back from his vacation in Mexico, but anyway. <laughs> Welcome, Jonathan. How are you? I'm okay. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. You got an update on the Recreation Commission wanting to do something at Hurley Park? <clears throat> um, things are not finalized yet, but where we are leaning is in conversations with people um, down there, we're thinking about just drilling a, a series of what people are calling points. Mm -hmm. And uh, Andrew and, and, and Alan and others may, you know, just down there, you don't have to go very deep before you hit water. No, a point is just to drill a pipe into the ground, maybe 15, 20 feet, use right. a sledgehammer to do it. And right. And you put a point at the end of it and it sucks the water out. And what we're thinking, well, we, we're, we're going to have to do is put a series of points in, at the three fields. Um, and with very easy, um, and I guess they make equipment to do this, although we'd probably bring somebody in to do it. You can, you can drag a trench, uh, you know, a four inch, two, you know, three inch trench to across from point to point to point at the different fields. And that'll be the extent of the project. And then it'll completely be irrigated with, uh, with, with sufficient water to, to, to do your, your sprinkler system. Um, no need for the river, no need for wells, um, no need for uh, CONCOM or, or, or any of the other- No, you will need CONCOM just because you're- Brian Dominus said we probably would not need CONCOM, no. but, <laughs> but, Scott Jackson, but Scott Jackson and I have been trading emails just in case and we Good. haven't connected. Sure. Okay. So. But that's the. Having just done that talk on well pollution, uh, has anybody tested the water down there? Water down there, the, the, the stuff we'd be using would not be potable water. 
well, it's going to be on the grass and people are going to be rolling around it. No, I'm, I'm thinking for all the Tyvek and all the stuff that was polluted in the in the 80s. It's all carcinogens. You may want to have it tested. It doesn't cost some of it, to test it. Some of it was, I've forgotten which one. One of them absorbs through the skin. Well, I'm, I'm pretty sure that the water that's going to be tapped into down there is going to be the same stuff that 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 was was was, you know, has the 10,000 year shelf life for 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 contaminants. Um, well, I, I think you might well get a question at town meeting and, and you, it would be wouldn't hurt to have the answer. Yeah, we'll, we'll have the answer. But yeah, a very good point. Um, I'm sure that's going to be brought up at town meeting. Uh, Jonathan, what kind of professional advice has the Recreation Commission been receiving about this? Mostly from our 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 water guy, Wayne Hitkowski. I mean, he's pretty good at what he does um, in terms of in in terms of the engineering piece of it. And again, as I said, I've I've been trying to connect with Scott Jackson, and I have not been able to yet. But but I, but I certainly will. Um, but as far as electricity to run the pumps. Has anybody run it by? Electricity is already down there, and, and there's sufficient electricity to run to run to run that already. From what Wayne says. All right. So you don't think it's going to be a, a blow to your budget? I, I don't think so. I mean, there'll be some addition to the electricity budget. Sure, there will. Um, but you know, that's something that um, that that we're going to have to deal with with the um, with the finance committee and the select boards. Um, but there certainly will be will will be and 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 that's predicated on how much you need to to use the sprinkler system. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's going to be a yearly thing, right? Um, but again, if we don't do something like this, because we're going to all assume that climate change isn't going away, um, we are going to save money in the long run by doing this. Uh, otherwise, I agree. If, if you guys could do it, I think you should do it for sure. So, so again, I think it, it would it, still help to have a diagram. Yeah, a plan, um, a yeah, plot. yeah. we're gonna have, we'll have that. Yeah, yeah, we're, yeah. You go. You talked about digging the trenches. I imagine that's for the electrical work, right? To yeah. go from pump to pump to pump. Yeah, you have well, that pump in it. Oh, what's that, Jude? I'm sorry. Are you, are you done? I was going to ask if it needed to be winterized and how that would be done. Usually, would blow do it out. Yeah, usually you just when when Hurley heat gets shut down for the year, you just you just blow out all the pipes and 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 there's no water in those things for okay. the entire. Be similar to somebody's house lawn. Right, we do that with the rest of with the rest of the water down there mm -hmm. uh, already. Any other um, questions? Well, uh, I have two questions. Yeah. When when do you think we'll have a revised proposal? I, I'm I would would assume that it's going to be by this meeting next month, or it's not going to happen. Right. I agree with that. Okay. Um, my other question, Jonathan, is about a previous project. Um, I noticed the other day that the ice rinks aren't up. Is is that true? <laughs> yes, it's absolutely true. You need, in order for the water to freeze, Donna, on the ice rinks, you need- It's, it's just because it's too warm? It's just Is too that... warm. So even, even with the real cold spell that you had last week or whenever it was- Yeah, it was only three days, two right. days. And if, really. and if the ground isn't frozen underneath, it-, it it's it's just going to take forever to freeze it. So there's been no reason to 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 put it down yet. It's it's something that can be put down in a matter of hours. Okay, uh, thanks. That's what I figured. And my guess, Donna, is that it, it's not going to happen this year. I mean, it's February eighth. I don't think it'll happen this year. No, no, it's awful. It's really terrible. Again, the weather is terrible. Time, last time I checked, climate change exists. I've seen a couple ice rinks full of water, and it's just full of water. Right. Nobody's used them. No one uses no. it, and, and that and that runs the risk of 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 of, um, of hurting the the materials and. Sure. and uh -huh. sure. So, I did talk to J.P. Kennedy, who was part of setting up the ice rinks, 
And he says they look at a 10 day forecast and if they don't see cold, cold weather in 10 days, they, they're not gonna go put it up. Right. There's just no reason. You're just wasting time, energy, money. Yeah. It's too bad. So talk to Concom, make sure we're clear there. Yeah. If we can get the water tested, I'm sure Wayne can get it tested easy enough. Just so you know what to say when somebody asks. Yeah. Somebody I will mean, ask. They will. And I'm sure it's going to be the bad stuff in that water. I don't know. I mean, the source is the source. And I, I again, you know the water down there better than I do. Yeah. Well, a lot we'll of people see. use it to irrigate their fields. A lot of people right. use points exactly. to irrigate the lawns. You know, the, 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 the EPA rightfully smacked China Farms around how many years ago because they were using that water to irrigate their sprouts. Yeah. Um, yeah, because you're consuming sprouts. You're consuming it, right. Yeah. So yeah, we, just, we should put that question to rest, that's all. The impact on, 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 on playing fields and, and, and people being on the fields and all that kind of stuff. Come up with a design, Give, show us something. Yeah. You guys good? I think so. Thanks, John. We want to talk about any of the other ones. Frontier, I guess everybody saw what Judy and I sent out, what was in the newspaper, how they proposed to fund the new track at Frontier and how they were asking the different towns for money from the CPA, which was linked to how they asked for money for the school. So I think ours was like 12%. That's how they came up with the money for $11,000. I, I thought this was an issue eight or nine years ago when, when they started, maybe not that long ago, but I don't, maybe I'm... <laughs> Why is this why is this being discussed again because these are things that i know i voted on when i was on the select board and this was years ago yeah and i, I said the same thing last meeting john i think I guess, um, what they, I guess what they did years ago was it was a patch they said this is, yeah i thought we were i thought we had a full-blown rebuilt of the tennis courts mm. and, and so each was going to be able to choose how they were going to fund their portion of right. the problem. We right. chose to do it through, through CP, CPC, CPA money, but other towns were going to do it. Who cares how they were going to do it? And But I thought it was this was a done deal. Yeah, well, this is a second one, a more, a, a different, re, bigger rebuild. All right. Well, I mean, first, it's a I get the way it's explained to me, this is a complete rebuild. Last time it was a band aid. Because that was the track as well, right? They're supposed to do the track and the courts, if I remember right. Uh, I don't know if I, we had a track one, but I think that was separate from the courts. Oh. Yeah, I don't remember the courts. I remember the track. Mm -hmm. I thought they were together, but maybe they maybe were. Wrong. Well, there were there were a, a bunch of projects that were built into it. You know, some fundable mm -hmm. by by CPA funding and some fundable by other other means. Uh, back then, yeah, we well, were this, able... this is just a small amount of the total funding. Waitley's total funding too. Yeah, no, I get that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think back then we could fund it through CPA for recreation. Sure, I mean this was only five years ago, six years ago, Alan. So maybe yeah, we did, we did. But anyway, the amount of money, I don't think we need to worry too much for our portion of the money, anyway. I agree. Anybody got any questions about Quan Quan? I have no new insight to what they're doing. All right. I think that's all the applications we got. I'll talk about the plan. Yes, I do. Okay. Everybody have a chance to take a look at the red line plan. Thank you very much, Judy, for doing this. Put a lot of work into it, obviously. I I've read it a couple of times. I don't see anything glaring that shouldn't be in there. Uh, you took out the part where they were 
anybody any private donation that we make or a donation to a private historical like Quan Quan. Uh, we had a stipulation in there from the beginning that a preservation restriction would be required. And we talked at the last meeting that we don't think that needs to be in there. So we actually took it out of the plan about the requirement for a preservation restriction. You got any other highlights, Judy? Well, I updated the housing statistics because they were about a decade old and mm -hmm. they discovered why they hadn't been updated. It's, it's not easy to get numbers that are comparable from one source to the next. You tend to have different dates, but I think they're, they're representative. Um, FERCOG sent me the latest uh, open space data um, from their GIS system. And it differs from last year's in the sense that there's slightly less open space given. And I don't know any reason for that, except maybe a difference in maps, but I don't think it's big enough difference to, I'm certainly not gonna spend time chasing it down and I don't think anybody else is. Um, as I said in the email, I was flabbergasted that fish and what fish and game or fish and wildlife now and, and DCR now own about 10% of Waitley, which is kind of interesting to think about. And when I next see that bill about revising the state tax payments for state land, I'm going to be more emphatic about getting our legislators to, to right. do it so that equalize the formula. Um, I had a couple of questions on the rec priorities, Jonathan. Um, I thought maybe a couple of them were done. Um, I printed this so small, I can't read my, my draft, but one of them was adding new fields to Hurley. That's been done. And you know, Tritown -Tri Beach is Tritown Beach and we, you know, the, the Recreation Commission has not been involved with Tritown Beach, really. Well, uh, you have, the, but, okay, continue, I'm sorry. Well, I'm just saying that it hasn't been involved with Tritown Beach, the, the, the fire station, um, it uh, field is still being used, although that's maintained almost universally with volunteer time. Um, obviously, Hurley he Field is the is the lion's share of of, of what what we do. Um, we don't I own don't... the property at, at on Christian Lane anymore. Okay, so that should come off. That should come off the center school. That. Th that should come off. Um, Why? Why? There is the, it's only mentioned in a sentence that reads, there are playgrounds, fields, and or swimming, yeah. and there is a playground there. And who, who oh, knows what I they're going to do in the this future? Isn't, I, yeah. but, but, but Donna, I, I would, you know, maybe people use it more than I see, but I don't see anybody using it. It's this is not, just a list of what's there yeah this what's isn't about available. the recreation commission it's just a list of what the, what exists in the town yeah, what's available if you want yeah. to use it right I, I, and i just don't see that as an asset it could be they knock, i don't know what they're going to do. If they knock down that school that'd be a great place for a little park well you're talking to someone who thinks we should sell the school with historic preservation attached to it so you know uh, yeah. for, 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 for use. I don't want to see a building that like that torn down. No. If we, and Alan, if we need a park in the center of town, we have seven acres behind the library sits on seven acres, which doesn't have a terrible slope and it doesn't go right down to a, a intersection where semis come around really very, very frequently. I mean, seven acres oh, back yeah. there. Great sledding. <laughs> 
<laughs> if it ever snows, if it ever snows. It's a long walk back up that hill, though. Well, it's good for you. <laughs> the rope, too. A seven-year-old has the energy to do that, Alan, remember? Yeah. yeah. I mean, Jonathan, I agree about, uh, I mean, my having looked at that playground on the center school property, it is so rusty. And I mean, it's just kind of a torn finger waiting to happen, <laughs> you know? It, it's, it's and, and well, and, 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 and Donna, I, I'll, I'll, I'll say it up front and, and it's no different than the elementary school playground. We are using um, 1970s, 19, early 1980s playground equipment for um, 20, you know, well into the 21st century school children and, and their interests and their needs are and are, are just different. So we, it, it's so antiquated, it's really not usable anymore. So, I, except unless you're, two, unless you're two. So I, I just don't see it as, a, as an asset. Um, we don't know how long that's gonna, gonna, gonna be Waitley property. Even if we were to lease it, my guess is that, that whoever were to, was to lease it, and I don't think that's going to happen anyway, they may not want people taking up their parking or, or taking up that space. Space They may want to use that space for other purposes, so I just don't. Yeah. I don't think it's a viable uh, facility. It's, it's Waitley Elementary, it's Hurley, and, and you know, that that's kind of it. You you could make an argument that the, the, the space between the fire station and the highway garage would be an outstanding playground. Um, but again, we don't know what Keith's needs are going to be or the, what the fire department's needs are going to be. Or the highway garage. Right. That, I, don't, I don't think we, we're spending an awful lot of time on one line in the plan. We are. We are. And I it's, think a, and it, and it's a plan. Day. Yeah. It's a list. I don't. I, does it matter to me? Does it come in there? I think it's factually it's there. I, I would leave yeah. it, but leave it there until I mean, next the, year. We'll look at it again. Okay. Right. We rewrite this every year. There's we nothing that says it's a priority. No, we're it's required just, to review the plan. Every the year. facts. Okay. Okay. Um, the other thing I added was that was the housing page uh, in the in the attachment because I was rather struck by the, the income, the eligibility limits for, for housing for the CPA, both moderate, especially the moderate income ones. Um, it's really surprisingly high li limits. Yes, um, which is why- It's it, very interesting. You know, yeah. I, I was surprised and I thought it would be helpful to pe for people to see that, for us to see that. Um, also, I think those limits also apply to people who want property tax abatements. And I think we've kind of forgotten that lower income and lower income at all ages and moderate income over 60 people can get can get uh, abatements for their their community preservation portion of their property tax. And just so we remember, and maybe I should put out a reminder to the treasury people so they remember. Mm -hmm. Catherine, you're there. Yeah, now I'm waiting in a parking lot. <laughs> Soon I'll be driving again. This is my life. So, so anyway, that's, I thought, anyway, I thought it was good to see. So that's why that's there. I don't think there's, it's just, it's just descriptive stuff from the community preservation work. There's nothing. We're there. talking about the CPC plan, Kat. Okay. Yeah, I was able to listen. I, I gave a lot, a lot of thought to trying to figure out, you know, the comment you said earlier, Judy, about no, it's the the income. It's not exactly apples to apples to apples, like looking at the income range for two people versus four people. And is it the American Community Surveys number? And then the median income, you know, is different. But I think, I think, I think maybe what I might do in the context of the work, the housing production plan that FERCOG is working on right now is just wait and 
and try to work with them a little bit on trying to tighten that up a little bit so that we can show a display that sort of shows here's what your income level would be at two people in a household and here's what your income level would be at three and four you know just do a little chart and compare something like that to maybe add it because I think it's a, it's a little bit misleading if we just talk about the family of four and have the one number yeah. you know but mm -hmm. I, yeah, well, I, I, put, I don't know if you got to, to see it. I did put the range of household sizes and, and the numbers in a table in the in okay. attachment I, yeah I couldn't it's a long story but I'm not using my laptop as much anymore I'm trying to print stuff out and look at it and uh, I couldn't print that for whatever reason that page so but you're right maybe that's just all that was needed and I didn't get a chance to try it looking at it but thank well, you so you, much I'll for send you a PDF. yeah um, <laughs> well I think for this purpose is different than the housing production plan too we're just trying to sort of well right they're totally people different. we've yeah. thought about this yeah should we um, do something to remind people of this possible abatement on taxes that's, I was just thinking that maybe we should ask, I mean, we've just paid taxes, but we'll have another one in May or in April rather. It would, maybe we could get um, whoever the treasurer is at that moment, just to put a little slip in with the bills. Um, I think I because I, I, my sense is having looked at this, that there are gonna be a lot of people in Waitley who could, who well, would be I eligible for you, this abatement. I could tell you, and, and changed obviously over the years but when this first was enacted it was one person who applied for an abatement and it was Jim LaSalle and when he found out that he was only going to get twenty dollars back or something he decided the paperwork was worth was right. was it worth it so right and but I'm sure things are different now and and but we should we should probably be reminding people I did find out when I was lobbying for the senior circuit breaker to be more publicized that that uh, Lynn Lynn says they they rules to not let them put it in the tax bills, but um, oh. he and Amy were going to have send something out using the uh, street list and the age distribution on the street list that would just go to older people. I think so. Okay. We well, talked I, about that, so we can add that this to that. I think the average property tax bill in Waitley now is over 4,000. Does that sound right to other people? Um, so it isn't quite 3% of that because you don't pay the 3% on the first 100,000 of value, right? But yeah, I mean, my point is it could, it could approach $100, which somehow yeah. I could, might appeal to people more than 20. The first 100,000 yeah. is impacts the lower probably people I, I shouldn't say this it's it certainly isn't 100 percent true but on balance probably people who fall in the lower income level are living in smaller houses so they're hundred thousand bigger portion of their but but still yeah we should be reminding people thereby cutting our revenue but we're, we're good people <laughs> Not right. much. Well, I think we're the burden is on us to remind people of this. Um, right. Could it be an article in the scoop, possibly? Sure. If maybe we can get Catherine to put something together, or maybe that attachment that you wrote, Judy, would be enough. To... Well, this is a little. You have to explain it a little bit more. Yeah, we explain it differently, probably. That way it reaches everybody and we fulfill their obligation of letting everybody know. <laughs> Great job on the plan, Jude. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. This is the last year, guys. Somebody else can do it next year. Um, do, do, <laughs> that's, I'm, I'm going to ignore that. Um, do just do we need a vote on the plan? We do. do yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll make a motion. Uh, I'll move that we accept the CPC plan as amended by Judy. And I don't think, did we, 
Did we took decide out, for the, we really took out the the additional fields um, priority, right? Yep. Yeah. So we second it. I will. All in favor of accepting the new 2023 community preservation plan? Say aye. 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 Say nay if you don't agree. It's unanimous. The last thing I have on the agenda is to accept the article that Judy wrote up to put into the town report. It's similar to last year. Um, Remarkably. Well, a lot, a lot of them are similar to, you look at the fire department, the numbers change, but the, what they're yeah. saying is all the same. Yeah, it's good. So it's very okay. I'll make a motion that we accept the report mm -hmm. of the Community Preservation Committee to be put into the town report. All uh, second. All right. All in favor, say aye. 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 If you don't agree, say nay. Aye. All right. <laughs> I don't have anything else. I can give you a very brief update on the church windows. I was going to ask you that and I forgot. Thank you. Um, town council and the church lawyer have agreed on wording for the writer first refusal document and select board will vote on it next Tuesday night. And that's what you sent out to us? Uh... I don't think you've seen this. We haven't seen that? Have you seen it? Maybe I sent a draft. I might have sent a draft that I did not send out town council's comments. I'll send you the, I'll send you what I sent to Brian today. Okay. I got something here, the covenant and right of first refusal agreement for the window restoration. Yeah, that was, that was, that was the one we proposed to the town. Um, town council got back. Yes. This is what town council looked at and then made changes to? Made changes. And, okay. um, and they aren't substantive. Well, there, there's some minor ones, but. Yeah. Um, All right, so there's one that I have is a draft. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah. So um, where are we with the windows themselves? The windows are all removed. The, the at the shop, they have strip the paint on the inside of the frames and and um they've they've done all the work on the frames themselves um they're expecting the glass to be in uh today or tomorrow and they will start wow. inserting the glass and the new mountains um very shortly all right and uh, judy what have you decided to do about the storm windows i i know I know this is the church's, the church is paying for that, not CPA money. I'm just interested. Well, we haven't, we haven't, um, we've been working on getting this done. Oh, okay. No, that makes sense. Um, that yeah, makes sense. We will. Yeah. And also, I think a little bit trying to get a feel for the, for the um, town hall windows. But, um, right. Uh, the last, the last that I heard, the test windows are still out with the manufacturer, or for who's looking at them. I, I actually, I continue to think that that problem isn't relevant because the storms won't have the. I, I think you're probably right. Windows, I've, you know, but I mean, it's, uh, so we have not done anything about that at this point. We're also going to have to get the. They've done all the work, as you can, if you've been by the church, they've done all the work from the interior. So the old storms are still there. They're gonna to have to come off. We're gonna to have to do some painting on the exterior um, around the frames and all mm -hmm. fun stuff like that. Anyway, it's progressing. Yeah, it sounds like it is. Good. Great. And we have to thank Nicholas Jones because in the storm on Friday, two of the plywood panels on the south blew in. Oh, really? And he called me and he agreed to go up and put them back. Bless Great. his heart. So. Great. Wow. That's really well, nice. I, 
I think we should also thank the church for um, having the church's attorney draft the right of first refusal and 20 year preservation restriction <laughs> agreement because we will we'll be able to use that if we make other grants right. to private entities. It'd be a good template for sure. Nothing else? I could Is tell them not to do it over year end. <laughs> Private attorneys are very busy over year end. <laughs> Is this a leap year, February or not? No. No. So March 8th. Yep. Another east. Yeah. March 8th at five o'clock. Sounds good. <laughs> John. <laughs> Heavy sigh, man. <laughs> You're muted. Sorry, I, I will not be in town on March 8th, but that's okay. I'll, I'll figure out how to get you guys everything that you need and find a replacement part for me to. Yeah, the sooner you can get to us, the sooner we can ask you questions or have Wayne come or. I'll have Wayne come probably. Yeah. So, but yeah, I, I know I will not be in town, so. Yeah. Okay. It's not opening day of the Red Sox. No, I, I I am in I am not in town very often these days. I just I, it's you know work stuff. So okay, all right, all right. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you. Oh, just what, before Judy? we go, um, Lynn's party. Um, I was wondering. Yeah. I haven't heard anything about Mary Ellen. Forever is. Does anybody know how she is? Because if she could come, that would be so wonderful. I mean, she's yeah. well enough. I would be surprised, Judy, if she was able. But, yeah, so would I, but I yeah. I ran into a library about a year ago. She looked fine, but oh, really? or maybe it was 18 months ago, but I was really surprised. So the, this is, oh, sorry, sorry. At the Deerfield uh, Library. But, um, um, Neil and I do have 25 tickets to sell, so um, I won't press you in the course of the meeting. <laughs> meeting but let me know if we well, can I'll, sell I'll, you tickets I'll definitely <laughs> okay great <laughs> very good we'll see you guys on the 8th